beauty under the border wall. Ducks, American ducks, paddling safe and free. Yeah, I can see through that fence a little bit. I don't like what I see. It looks crappy, messy. Not the right color. What the heck? There's even a tire fire going on in Mexico. Yeah. This wall protects us from all that. I'm not even getting out of my car. Unless some Mexican chuck a rock over that fence and put my eye out. But seriously. I mean, how secure is this thing? You know, I know there are poorest parts of it and miles, hundreds, if not thousands of miles where there's no wall at all, where I think they're putting up Trump scarecrows, hoping that'll work. But I'm hidden behind a, gra a pile of gravel here because I want to stay out of the touristy places. Back uh, there, we could see some cars. There's a bunch of red Trump hats over there. It's like a border celebration, border wall. But over here, I'm parked in my truck camper. Probably fit 60 Mexicans in there. And right now, if they hop that fence, just stuck a ladder up there and jumped down or whatever, jumped over this water, uh, into this water and got in my truck, I could just drive away. Just like this. Arriba, arriba. They could be in the back of my truck camper right now, eating all my animal crackers. Hey guys, save me some. It's a joke. It's like two rivers. Coming together. I grew up in Pittsburgh. The uh, Allegheny and Monongahela form the Ohio, and the Mon is one color, the Allegheny is another. And for a while, when they meet at the point, they resist each other. They try to hang on to their colors and cultures. But you get down a few bends toward uh, the Mississippi. Pretty soon it's all one color, some shade of brown, and that's nature. That's what's going to happen to humans, too. We're all going to be some shade of brown someday, long after we're gone, if we survive that long. Oh, by the way, that tire, tire fire was in California. 